Maybe I should turn off the UV. Makes it kind of hard to see this stuff, doesn't it? But then again, there could be secrets. No, I keep, I keep seeing footsteps in the UV light. I'm going to leave it on. I think I hear a doll. Hmm. I'm not gonna do it, but I'm curious what happens if you fall. Well, you probably just outright die, but like, what does it look like? You know, what's the, the cutscene or animation? It's awfully close. Oh, yep. Why are there two of them? It's a bug. Did you see what happened? I think as I dealt the killing blow and the body turned into a ragdoll, it spawned a second one for the ragdoll and then left the original one here or something. Uh. Or there was actually two? In the exact same place? I don't know what just happened. More bullets. I've got a pretty good amount now, I think. Let's reload, actually. Yep, 7 plus 10. That's 17. I think I thought that would lead to over here, but it doesn't look like it does. I can probably go. Oh, I thought I could jump over that, but it's a hole in the floor. Never mind. Hall 306. Another question mark there at the elevator. Yeah, actually, I think I am doing the right thing by trying to get the elevator working before doing the other mysteries down below. Because once I get the elevator working, it probably can just take me easily between all the floors and then I'm more free to explore the whole place. That's a huge ladder. What's down there in the first floor? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I think that might take me to this weird place right here that I couldn't get inside of. Maybe. Let's go here first, though. Time brings truth. Was that? Dull. I just saw, yep, saw this distortion. Oh, 
think we found out why the elevator doesn't work. Silent Hill Cinema. Quite a lot of paintings, but most of them you can't look at. Guess that's it. Let's use the elevator. So this could now probably take me all the way up. Uh, okay. <laughs> this thing is fucked up. Which ones can I use? One, two, three. Or 18, which is the radio. Oh, does it want a, a card of some sort? There's like a flashing thing, and it looks like there's a key card or something that goes in there. Let's go to floor one. Is it going to work? Huh, I wonder what the flashing thing is then. Yeah, back down here. Okay, so I think I have a puzzle or two. Probably just one puzzle, that weird door with a screaming behind it, and it needs a four-digit combination. I'm going to go try to crack that. Actually, before I go try to crack that, I forgot to go down here. I guess it's all to get into 200, which is special somehow, because there's a big underline under it. Mayor's office. can be viewed in a slide projector. I don't think I've seen a slide projector. Hmm. If I had to guess though, I'd say that's probably the key to getting into that special room. Ooh. Almost missed this. Gotta remember to try to open drawers. This is also in the mayor's office. Psychological report. Dr. Wayne Sarah to Garden Glen Milton. Subject's name, crossed out, probably me. It's a probationary hearing, a preliminary psychological evaluation. I'm just going to fill in the name Pendleton Murphy. Or is it Murphy Pendleton? I think it's Murphy Pendleton. Is a male, 43 years old. He is serving a something year sentence for multiple felony accounts, including third degree murder and sexual assault of a child below the age of 14. He appears to be in satisfactory physical health. The prisoner is currently being considered for probation. After multiple sessions with the prisoner, I have concluded he does not suffer from any psychotic or f physical disorders. Rather, he has shown continually to have an inordinate interest in young children and manifests significant predatory traits. As a result, I feel he poses an imminent danger to the community should he be released from custody and is therefore a poor candidate for probation. Maybe this isn't Pendleton Murphy. Maybe this is the other person. I'm guessing 
This is the person that we killed in the shower. And I'm guessing the third degree murder and sexual assault of a child below the age of 14 was probably Murphy Pendleton's son. Oh wait, it doesn't say male, so I don't know if it's their son, but their kid. Yeah, that's probably, I mean, that would explain why they wanted to kill him, obviously. Um, it would explain why we saw that card about the, uh, what was it, a therapist? For people who have lost their child? It would explain... That would maybe explain why Murphy seemed like such a generally, like, uncharacteristic person to do that strange crime of stealing a police cruiser and then leading him on a chase. Maybe, could the purpose of that have been to just go to jail? To attempt to kill that person? Do they want to go to jail to get in there? To kill them? You know, it's a, it's a felony crime. And it didn't hurt anybody. Not a bad choice to end up in prison without doing any real damage. Yeah, that definitely isn't for us. Not a good candidate for probation. I mean, Pen Murphy Pendleton was granted probation, so that is definitely not us. So this is the weird door that I was talking about. It's actually a three-digit combination, which isn't too bad. I could probably brute force this. So the number of combinations would be... 10... Wait. Wouldn't the number of combinations be 10 times 10 times 10? Is that how that works? Would it be a thousand different combinations? Okay, that's actually pretty hard to brute force. Um, where does that lead? The vault. Sounds good. Also, I just tried to go into the video archive up here, because that sounds like a place that might have a projector for the slides, and I don't remember actually going in here before. Maybe I didn't. Or maybe I did and- Oh, fuck! Guess I didn't go in here. And there's a projector! Wow. What the hell was that? Mayor. Mayor, dash, and then it looks like there's three things, like, scribbled out there. The three digits? Oh, what's that up there? I can't look any more up. You're listening to the DJ Rick Show on WLMNFM, where the tracks are tight and the sweet melodies flow on and on. It's always a perfect day with DJ Rick, your on-air friend to the end. Yeah, sorry, friend. I wouldn't call this a perfect day. Do I have to use it from the front? It says three up there. Yep, okay, these are the different numbers. Yep. Alright, let me write these down. Okay, got it. I'm really excited about what's gonna be in that vault. What's gonna be in that vault? What's up here? Video archive? Yeah, never been here either. Hmm, I think there's a doll up here. No? Definitely heard creepy noises. Oh! So there's more of these. I thought, like, all of them, three or four of them that we read were, like, right at the very beginning of the library, and then not for a long time, and now suddenly more. Conduct Disorder is also related to um, psychopathy and sociopathy, marked by a near total lack of empathy for other living things, and a warped morality defined by their own needs and desires. 
Some more scribblings down there. Psychology volume five, common mental disorders, is what it says on the left side. And then this isn't actually part of the book. This is just put in there. Nice Mr. Neighbor. Nice guy production. Looks like a kid being kidnapped. Right, well, let me get a picture of this. We can try to miss anything in these shelves. Maybe when I come down, I'm gonna have to fight the doll. There's definitely a doll around here. Just think of what happened when I set foot in this place. It's a weird explosion at my feet. I don't even know what the hell that was. Okay, well, we're good for now. Alright, so the password is either 691 or 961. Uh, they left it a little bit ambiguous. So let's go with 6. Uh, 6. 9. Yeah. Uh, 1. Not it. So this one's 9. This one's 6. I'm a little bit scared about what's going to be in there. There's claw marks, but maybe that means there's nothing in there because it couldn't get inside. No, okay, there's claw marks on the inside too. Yeah, no. Hmm. ID card. What? What the fuck is in there? Cheeky bastard. That's such a disturbing image. Somebody coiled in barbed wire. Strung up in barbed wire. Elevator ID card for access to restricted floors. Yes, I thought something went in that little bottom slot that was blinking. This goes in there, and... I... Oh. Does this say 18 on it? Maybe I needed to put that in to get to the top floor. So actually, this might not be a side quest. This might be required. Because I never even tried to go to the top floor. That was fucking cool. I mean, the way I see it, it's sort of a win-win situation, right? Guys like Napier, they've got no business breathing the same air as you and me, right? Now, the courts and the bleeding hearts out there insist we sequester guys like him away from the general population for their safety. Can you believe that shit? Interesting that they use the word sequester. It's not a very common word, and we just saw that written on the wall. Uh, I don't remember exactly what it was. Something like sequester is not is not the same as safety or something like that. For their safety. Let me ask you this: What about Charlie's safety, huh? So this is how it's going to work. I'll give you access to Napier. Make sure you get some quality time with that worthless sack of shit. Charlie. Maybe that's the name of our kid. I'll see to it no one finds him until I've had a chance to scrub the place down. Keep you in the clear. But in exchange, you're gonna owe me a favor. Think you can do that for me, sport? <laughs> of course you can. I know you're a man of your word, Murphy. You be a straight shooter with me, I'll be a straight shooter with you. Me one. 
That was so cool. I love how that was done. Being beckoned into the room with that music and then the way the entire room transformed was so cool. Annual Employee Review. Rayall State Prison. Name George Sewell. Years of service, 20. Damn. Areas of concern. There have been numerous reports from prisoners and fellow corrections officers that Officer Sewell maintains suspicious contact and or relationships with certain prisoners under his care. There have also been allegations of abuse of power by Officer Sewell, including physical threats. Officer Sewell adamantly denies these claims. Conclusion. In until further investigation is conducted into the various charges against Officer Sewell, promotion and or merit wage increase cannot be approved at this time. Positive contributions to team. Officer Sewell had perfect work attendance throughout, uh, throughout the entire review period and consistently reports to his duties in a punctual fashion. So what was this favor? What did Sewell want that we could help them with? doesn't work anymore. Okay, 18th floor. Probably going to be a long ride. Quicker than I thought. W-L-M-N-F-M. That does not roll off the tongue. Every time they say it on the radio, I think, oh, poor person. W-L-M-N, W-L-M-N-F-M, W-L-M-N-F-M. Woolman fm This map's been altered a lot. <laughs> Let's grab a fresh one. On air. There's those tracks again. Those must be from the... The wheelchair, right? Yeah, the wheelchair that was stuck in the door. That must be from them. I wonder who was in it. I wonder where they went. Why they left their wheelchair. For my part, I know nothing with any certainty, but just the sight of the stars makes me dream. Whoa! Just off for a second, but that person showed up in the mirror, the mirror only. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> I'm good, Murphy. Must be DJ Rex. Are they actually real? That, my brothers and sisters, was another rock and roll classic coming to you courtesy of DJ Rex on this fine afternoon. Weatherman says there's a storm coming our way to spoil the fun. So batten down the hatches and snuggle up under the blanket with the one you love, because it's going to be a rough ride. And speaking of rough rides, we got another dedication going out to my man with the plan. Murphy Pendleton. Somebody out there has got an eye on you, MP. So watch your back and keep it on track. Hey, man, come on in. Got a disc spinning right now, so you ain't interrupting nothing. 
<laughs> Man, you look like you just saw a ghost or something. You alright? Not really, no. Good to hear. So what can DJ Bobby Ricks do for you? Uh Murphy Pendleton? Like I was saying, what can DJ Bobby Ricks do for you, Murphy? Got a track you wanna play or? I'm the guy you've been putting out the dedications for. I got the message. I came to find you. Afraid you got the wrong man, Murphy. I don't know what you're talking about. But if there's a song you want to hear or a dedication you want to make, I could. You're listening to the DJ Rick Show on WLMNFM, where the tracks are tight and the sweet melodies flow on and on. It's always a perfect day with DJ Rick's your on-air friend to the end. Look, man, I came through hell and high water to get here because you called me. Now cut the bullshit, because I don't have time for this. Chill out, man. If you don't keep your voice down, you're going to get us both in trouble. You do not want that. You don't know who might be listening. You understand? Thank God someone finally heard me. I, I can't even tell you how long it's been just spinning record after record after record, hoping someone... What the hell's going on here, Rex? What is this place? No time to explain. If we're gonna get out of here, we gotta move fast. We're getting this far tells me we might. Might we even have a chance of getting out alive. What's the plan? Right. Listen, I got this boat. She's more down at the marina. She's fast, real fast. Probably is some motherfucker ransack the studio and check the keys. Yeah, I'll hotwire it. No problem. Uh, that's not gonna work. This place, it, it does strange shit to reality, man. It's like, there's rules you gotta, gotta follow, you, you know what I mean? Bobby Ricks? Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Who's it going out to? But I, uh, that's, that's nice of you to think of me. Yeah, real nice. Thank you. They're coming. Who? Doesn't matter. We gotta find those keys. The on the silver chain says freedom. You can't. This, um. Pendleton. Put the gun down, damn it. We might have a way out of here. You. I need to use your phone. Sorry, lady. Calls come in, but don't go out. Just because folks want to be heard, don't mean they're willing to listen. See for yourself. What the hell's going on around here? No! Bronze trophy, found a friend, and lost a friend all in a couple minutes. <laughs> that was a great sequence. Oh my god, I love I love how disorienting it was when like just a second ago they did a dedication to Murphy Pendleton. And then just a couple seconds later they're like, I'm sorry, Murphy Pendleton, who are you? Can I help you? That weird dissonance. I thought they honestly didn't know who I was, but Apparently they did, and they were just worried somebody was listening. Listening how? Like... I mean, surely not through the radio. I was just playing a song, and they couldn't hear the microphone. They just knew. And sent those monsters, I guess? They said that there's rules and stuff to this place. Does weird things to reality. I think it's the first Silent Hill where people have commented so overtly on... how Silent Hill actually operates. Hinting at some sort of kind of logic to the place. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're gonna get out of this place. Try to find our new friend. Something. <laughs>